Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember what happened when they did that thing with HUD, and then they did that thing where they changed the whole guarantees and they changed the whole terms and they had the one year for the repairs, but then the whole ten year guarantee requirement got changed, right? And the concern was that they were going to do that house flipping thing. You know where you buy the house and you get somebody that's eligible for the low income housing tax credit or some other sort of first time home buyer's assistance, and then you do something to upgrade the house or to up and then you flip it, right? Within a year, maybe two, maybe three. See, now we're in the three year point, aren't we? We would be in the three year point right now, wouldn't we? And that makes a big difference. Especially if you correlate that house flip with that Fannie Mae report that just came out. And see, if they hadn't lied and characterized a whole bunch of single-family homes as distressed during a time period when they actually weren't distressed, do you know all that shit that they're trying to claim that somebody owes for related to all that crap regarding that Bear Stearns shit that they're trying to fucking launder right now? It would have already fucking been paid for. But they don't want to acknowledge what they actually did. And in order for it to actually be accredited as paid for, then what they would have to do is actually follow it up with prosecution of actual crime. Because that's what it was. Yeah. It's kind of serious in that way, huh? Well, here's the other thing. And, you know, when you go through your LLC and you take your personal income and you use it in your LLC, including alleged personal income having to do with what is going on as part of a pandemic response or as was understood at the time, that that was actually a form of payout on a stock issue. That they had forced collectivized all the property of the people of the country. And that that was their kind of release. We're going to give you $1,200 for this round of stock, which you would know about if you knew about the history of the Bank of the United States and what the problems were. Like when they were in Congress debating it and when they ended up not renewing the charter, right? Yeah, that was a horrible thing that happened back then. Yeah, and it was a lot easier to have those debates back then because there were people that knew what slavery fucking was. Yeah, well, we just don't talk about slavery now and how that has anything to fucking do with stock issues after things have been illegally acquired and told that they're about something else. So if you take that money and you invest it directly in your LLC, the bank that's brokering, all of that shit isn't able to launder it and cover up for all the fucking crime and you can actually literally track it. Yeah, and now they're pissed because before there wasn't any fucking records, including through the fucking IRS, to prove this shit because they just wouldn't pay her. Yeah, but now there is. And they can't even change it. And they sure as fuck can't change it because they refused to give her that bond. See, if they had given her the bond that they owed her, then they would be able to pin something on her. But they won't fucking do that. They didn't fucking do that. And they tried to give the bond to somebody else and they just got busted. The whole damn fucking scam got busted. So what are they going to do now? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you cut them off? Yeah, it's not the same anymore because it's not a fucking game.